Do you know that when you record videos with a GoPro camera, it will automatically create proxy files for you. You don't have to manually create proxy files inside Adobe Premiere. Let me show you how to use these proxy files. When you preview videos on GoPro camera, it will play the proxy files created by it. So let me show you the workflow. So this is the folder where uh, I copied from GoPro camera to my computer and you can see the video files that I have recorded. These are actually 5K videos. If you take a look at the media information, you can see the resolution. It's uh, 5K videos and it's uh, 59 megabits per second bitrate. These are pretty heavy files. If you, you, if you have a powerful computer, you can edit these things in Adobe uh, Premiere without creating proxies. But if you, if you use the proxy files created by GoPro camera, you can easily edit uh, videos. So if you take a look at this folder, uh, let me go to the list view. Here you can see this LRV files, right? So these LRV files are the proxy files created by GoPro. When you preview the recorded video you inside the GoPro camera, it will play these LRV files. But in order to use these LRV files, if you take a look at the file size of the LRV file, it's 14 megabytes, right? Now if you take a look at the relevant video file, you can scroll down. And you can remember the name, right? This is uh, 455. And we can take a look at the relevant video file. This is the relevant video file, 455. And if you take a look at it, it's uh, this much heavy, right? But if you take a look at the uh, LRV file, this is the proxy file. Now, in order to use this file, we need to change this LRV extension to MP4, right? How do you do that? The first thing is uh, I create a new folder, right? And I name it uh, LRV proxies, right? Now I'm going to select all the LRV files in this folder, right? These are all the LRV files. And I move them to this LRV proxies, right? Like this. Now, uh, if you change this extension, you can click on rename. And you can click uh, change the LRV extension to .mp4 like this and if you change that extension it will ask you to change that now you can see it is mp4 video file now you can play it like this right so this is the proxy file if you take a look at the file size it's a 25 mega uh, megabytes right and if you take a look at the original uh, 10455 file uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, 489 megabytes right now you don't have to change this one by one you can use like uh, to like bulk rename utility to easily uh, rename all the files at once let me show you how to do it okay now i will show you how to rename all these lrv files into mp4 files at once in order to do that you need to download this uh, free tool as a video editor, this tool is very useful. You can easily rename video files and it has a lot more features. This is a bulk uh, rename utility. It's a free uh, software. You can install it and once you install it, then you can go to the views on Explorer and make sure uh, file name extension visible on, right? When you turn on this checkbox, uh, you can see the file name extensions, right? Now you need to select all the files, hold down shift key and select uh, all the files in this folder like this, right? And go to right click and click on bulk rename here. Once you install the bulk rename utility and this will appear. Now click uh, on that and it will open the bulk uh, rename utility. Here we need to change this. This is the old file name and this is the new file name after these modifications. Right, in this case, we, we need to change this extension from .lrv to .mp4. In order to do that, first go to this section and turn on this checkbox and click on remove, ex remove. And it will uh, remove the extension. You can see the preview of the new file name. Now we have removed the extension .lrv, but we need to add the .mp4 extension. In order to do that, go to the add section and turn on this checkbox. And here on the suffix section at the dot mp4 like this. Now you can see 
it change the .lrv extension to .mp4 and once you do that then uh, you have to click on this uh, rename icon and it will rename it now it will ask uh, about the proceed do you want to continue click ok and it will uh, successfully renamed files and you can close this uh, bulk rename utility now you can see the uh, proxy files uh, the lre files has been changed into dot uh, mp4 files uh, if you go to the thumbnail uh, large icon view now you can see the uh, these are the proxy files now we can easily play these uh, files uh, because uh, this is very small file right like this this is the proxy files created by uh, gopro we didn't create these things right you can easily play this uh, it's uh, easy for the computer now let's like look at how to use these proxy files in the inside adobe premiere and how we can link these proxy files let's do that actually i want to show you uh, another point uh, that uh, this is the uh, folder this is these are the lrv files and if you take a look at this dot uh, thm files these are the thumbnail files created by the gopro camera now if you rename this to jpg you can click on rename and you can rename it to jpg extension it will uh, be a image and you can preview that uh, image right you can click here and you can see the thumbnail file that is created by the uh, inside grouper so we don't need that thumbnail file so we can sort by type and i'm going to delete all the thumbnail files created by uh, GoPro. these are the thumbnail files right these are the thumbnail files and i delete them and these are the original uh, raw files created by uh, GoPro. so i create a new folder and rename it original raw and uh, original raw files and i put these original 5k videos to that folder to easily organize my project okay i move this to original raw folder now in this folder we have original 5k videos and in this folder we have all the proxy files that is required let's create a premiere project and see how to use it all right now let me show you how to connect these proxy files inside adobe premiere first you need to create the empty project it's pretty simple straightforward process and then you go to the folder where uh, it contain original raw video files you can it, you can see it's a 23.5 gb you can drag and drop this to the premiere project panel like this now it is importing the file give it a little time because these are 5k videos it will take a little time to import the files and you can see it's uh, also create the confirmation file once it completed the uh, importing process then we can link the proxy files uh, to these original source files now here you can see it is creating the peak files which is required to preview audios in the source video clips let's uh, give it some time uh, to finish the creating preview peak files and then we can link the proxy files now we have successfully imported the all the video files to the premiere uh, let's uh, create a new sequence from the file you can see these are 5k video files so i'm going to create a 5k resolution uh, sequence you can see turn off the proxy for now 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 we haven't uh, uh, linked the proxy files so in order to link the proxy files you can select uh, all the files inside this folder except the sequence you can select all the files right like this and you can right click here and you can click on proxy and attach proxies attach proxies now uh, you will get this attach proxies uh, dialog box now you need to locate the this lrv proxy folder so in order to do that you can click on attach and here you can see the lrv proxy folder and click on search it will select the file uh, like this you can see it highlighted the pressed file this is the 455 and this is the 455 it automatically select that and click ok right because we select uh, we want to automatically connect on other proxy files you can see it attach the proxy files you can see the proxy status you can see attached right now these are now we have successfully connected the proxy files now 
uh, if you cannot see this uh, you can right click here and metadata display and you need to turn on the proxy status right this one uh, that way you can see whether you have attached or uh, detached proxies right like this and now uh, you can add the files to the timeline like this uh, however you like it and uh, still we are not using proxy files you need to go to the program monitor and you need to turn on this toggle proxies right when you toggle proxies you can see this uh, proxy status is currently turned off but if you turn on the toggle proxies you can see the prox proxy status is turned on now we can successfully and easily and fastly edit the video files uh, because we have attached the proxy files here it's uh, pretty uh, easy to edit and you can edit faster because uh, we have connected the proxy files right like this and also if you have if you have any issues with uh, even after connecting proxies you can change the resolution to even uh, 1.8 because these are 5k videos you can change the resolution like that and you can get uh, smooth playback for your videos uh, based on the uh, proxy files right this is the workflow that you need to understand when you edit uh, gopro videos you can use the lre files as proxies inside adobe premiere and uh, i hope this video is helpful please subscribe to adobe rider and i'll be back with the next uh, exciting video tutorial thanks